Hi, and welcome to another video on the Tektronix MD-03104 oscilloscope. We've been looking at the arbitrary function generator, which is a built-in option of this scope. And in our previous video, we looked at the internal library of 14 waveforms, which are accessed through the AFG port on the back panel of the oscilloscope. This is accessed through the BNC cable, which is plugged into the front port for channel 1. Now we're going to go a step farther. We're going to see how we can add waveforms from an outside source and place them in the arbitrary function generator memory. There's a lot of functionality in this oscilloscope. It's got a 128K point record length, and it can copy or create waveforms from a variety of sources. First, we've connected the probe to channel 3, analog input. It's connected to the utility AC supply. The probe tip has to be connected to the ungrounded black wire, and the ground reference lead has to be connected to the grounded neutral white wire. And once again, the B and C cable has to be in place. Now we notice that the waveform is centered above and below the x-axis. Just to see what we've got, we'll push measure. And we'll press the DVD button. And we see that multipurpose knob A controls the mode. So we'll turn the mode to AC RMS and there is the voltage but it isn't correct because we're not on the right source so we'll turn source to 3 and we'll press menu and we'll make sure that we're triggering on the right source and there it is. We've got 60 Hertz and we've got the ability to turn the frequency to the AC utility source. To save the waveform in the AFG memory, in the trigger section, press menu. Be sure that the source is on channel 3, and then turn off the AFG. The single button is up next to the run stop button. We'll do a single capture and we'll turn on the AFG. Then we'll push the waveform button and we'll turn the waveform to arbitrary. Then we'll push Waveform Edit and we'll push Load Waveform. We'll change Load From to Channel 3 and we'll push OK Load. That inserts the waveform into the oscilloscope, but not yet into the memory. To do that, we save waveform and we make the destination 
one of the arbitrary memory slots, which are accessed by multipurpose knob A. A slot in which there is an existing waveform can be overwritten. OK, save, and it's in the slot. Thanks a lot for watching this video. That wraps up our treatment of the MDO3104 built-in AFG. Come back next time and we'll take a look at the Tektronix Demo One Board.